The Vatican trembles, faith wavers, and the Catholic world is on the brink of an unprecedented crisis. What would happen if we told you that the spiritual leader of over a billion believers has been accused of the most serious crime a man of the church can commit? Prepare for a shocking journey into the heart of a controversy that could forever change the face of the Catholic Church. Welcome to this special video, where we will explore together a piece of news that has shaken the very foundations of our faith. Mother Miriam of Medjugorje, a revered and respected figure within the Catholic community, has made an accusation that has shaken the walls of the Vatican, Pope Francis, the successor of St. Peter, is accused of a tremendous heresy. But what exactly does this accusation mean? And why should we be so concerned? To fully understand the gravity of this situation, we must first understand what heresy means in the context of the Catholic Church. We are not talking about a simple disagreement or divergent opinion. Heresy, in Catholic doctrine, is the obstinate rejection of a truth revealed by God and taught by the Church. It is considered one of the gravest sins against faith, so much so that it can lead to excommunication, that is, exclusion from the communion of the faithful. Now, imagine the weight of such an accusation directed at the Pope himself, the one who is considered the Vicar of Christ on earth. It's as if the very foundations of our faith were being questioned. But what are Pope Francis's actions that have led to such a serious accusation? Since the beginning of his pontificate in 2013, Pope Francis has surprised many with his progressive approach on various issues. His positions on matters such as divorce, homosexuality, and climate change have elicited mixed reactions within the church. Some have seen in him a breath of fresh air, a leader capable of bringing the church closer to the modern world. Others, however, have perceived his words and actions as a dangerous departure from traditional doctrine. One of the most controversial moments of his papacy was undoubtedly the publication of the document, Amoris Laetitia, in 2016. In this text, Pope Francis opened the possibility for remarried divorcees to receive communion in certain specific cases. For many conservatives, this decision was seen as a direct attack on the indissolubility of marriage, one of the pillars of Catholic teaching. But the concerns of Mother Miriam and other critics go beyond individual decisions or documents. There is the fear that Pope Francis's emphasis on mercy and inclusion, as noble as it may be in intention, could lead to a weakening of the fundamental truths of the Catholic faith. The question many are asking is, how far can the Church's openness go without compromising its essential teachings? Mother Miriam, in her accusation, seems to suggest that the Pope has crossed this line. Her words reflect a deep concern, that Francis's papacy, with its progressive orientation, may conceal deeper dangers for the Catholic faith than many realize. But before we get carried away by emotion or fear, let's pause for a moment. Let us reflect on the complexity of this situation and its implications for our personal faith and the Church as a whole. The Catholic Church has weathered many storms throughout its long history. There have been moments of crisis, division, and even corruption. Yet, the Church has survived, often emerging stronger and purified by the trials it has faced. This does not mean we should ignore criticism or concerns, but rather that we should face them with faith, wisdom, and discernment. It is important to consider the broader context of Francis's papacy. From the beginning, he has spoken of the need for a church that goes out. A church that does not close in on itself but goes out to meet people where they are, with all their wounds and fragility. This approach certainly carries its risks, but it also reflects the example of Jesus, who did not hesitate to eat with sinners and touch the untouchables of his society. On the other hand, we cannot ignore the concerns raised by respected figures like Mother Miriam. Their voice reminds us of the importance of remaining anchored to the fundamental truths of our faith, even as we seek to respond to the challenges of the modern world. In this moment of reflection and discernment, I invite you to join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, in these times of confusion and debate within your church, we ask you to guide us with your infinite wisdom. Grant our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all the leaders of the church the discernment necessary to lead your people according to your will. Strengthen our faith and help us remain united in the love of Christ, despite our differences. Through the Holy Spirit, enlighten our minds and hearts, so that we may always seek and recognize your truth. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If this prayer resonates in your heart, I invite you to comment with the word, Amen, to join spiritually in this intention. How should we respond as faithful Catholics to this situation?
First, it is essential to dedicate time to studying and deepening our faith. In times of uncertainty, it is more important than ever to know and understand Catholic doctrine. Spend time studying the Catechism, the Scriptures, and the Magisterium's documents. The more rooted we are in Catholic doctrine, the better we will be able to discern the truth amidst controversies. Second, we must maintain respectful and charitable dialogue, even when we disagree on these delicate issues. Let us remember that we are all members of the body of Christ and that the unity of the Church is a precious good to be preserved. Saint Paul exhorts us, making every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, Ephesians chapter 4. 3. Third, let us never forget to trust in the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We believe that the Holy Spirit guides the Church. Even in times of apparent confusion or controversy, we can trust that God will not abandon His Church. Finally, the best response to any crisis in the Church is to live our faith with authenticity and consistency. Let our example of Christian life be a light for others and a support for the Church in these difficult times. This controversy reminds us that faith is not always an easy or challenge-free path. There will always be moments when we must wrestle with difficult questions and complex situations. But it is precisely in these moments that our faith can grow and mature. As we reflect on these issues, I invite you not to lose sight of the essence of the Christian message, the love of God revealed in Jesus Christ. Whatever our position on specific issues, this remains the heart of our faith and the source of our hope. Dear friends, I urge you to remain vigilant but also confident. The Church has weathered many storms in its long history, and by God's grace, it will overcome this one too. Let us continue to pray for Pope Francis, for all the leaders of the Church, and for the unity of the faithful. If you found this video helpful and want to stay updated on these important issues concerning our faith, I warmly invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here you will find regular insights, spiritual reflections, and discussions on current topics concerning the Church and Christian life. Don't miss the opportunity to be part of this community of committed and informed believers. Click the subscribe button right below and activate notifications so you don't miss any new content. May the peace of Christ be with you all, today and always. Remember, even in moments of uncertainty, God remains faithful, and His Church prevails. Let us continue to walk together in faith, hope, and love. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.